The Office Season 1, Episode Number 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of The Office. Last week. First episode, the premiere of the pilot episode was great, man. It definitely seems like we are about to have some dry, dry, dry humor. Which I'm actually happy about because I feel like I've never reacted to something like this comedy wise if that makes sense right I, you guys know i've done some um sitcoms on the channel i'm doing rick and morty right now we finished up community i like friends i like community rick and morty is great but this comedy style at least based off the first episode is just completely different man so i'm excited to see what we have in store for this week so guys i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode before we do i do ask if you guys are new to the channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below you guys see next man drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode i wonder if each season they're gonna update the intro too you know what I mean? Right? Or, or kind of change some of the things in it. Or if it's going to be one of those ones that stays the same the whole time. Like Community, they kept the same song and stuff, but they would update things throughout it, which was kind of cool. But I feel like this is a type of show where you could keep the same intro the entire time. But it's just got that, such that early feel to it, which I like. Today is Diversity Day, and someone's going to come in and talk to us about diversity. It's something that I've been pushing, that I've been wanting to push for a long time, and corporate mandated it. And I, I never actually talked to corporate about it. Um, they kind of beat me to the punch. Diversity day. Hello? Uh-huh. Wait, what? I'm sorry, Mr. Deckard, I think I'm, I think I'm, lo I think I'm losing you. Does my guy black out the details and shred it? I mean, Dwight does seem like he's one of those dudes, right? So what I was saying, hello? Damn. <laughs> Thanks, Dwight. Retaliation. Tit for tit. <laughs> that tit for is tat. not the expression. I mean, our boy Dwight is the uh, like assistant manager. And that one call ends up being 25% uh, of my commission for the whole year. Mm. So, you know, I buy a mini bottle of champagne, celebrate a little. Interesting. Solitaire, bro. Pinball back in the day was the shit on there. Or six on seven. I know I saw that. Mm. So then why didn't you do it? I'm saving that. I like it when the cards go. Eh, <laughs> true. Who doesn't love that? That shit is satisfying. <laughs> hey, Oscar. How you doing, man? All right. Did you get Why a good weekend going that? there? It's fun. Oh yeah, I bet it was fun. <laughs> For diversity day, right? That's why. Mart Martinez. Right. See, I, I don't I even know. know. First name basis. Yeah. Uh, we're all set. Oh hey, well, diversity everybody, let's do it. <laughs> That's why he did that shit, really? We believe that 99% of the problems in the workplace arise simply out of ignorance. You know what? This I mean, this is place a is pretty diverse. Here. Stanley, I don't look at you as another race. Uh, see, that, this is what I'm talking about. We don't have to pretend that we're colorblind. Exactly. That's fighting ignorance with more, with more ignorance. Atomics. No, with more ignorance. ignorance. Right, exactly. Say a race that you are attracted to sexually. I will go last. What? Go. I'll go I last. I have two. Nice. White and Indian. Ah. Actually, I'd prefer not to start that way. Um, Mr. Brown. Ah, oh, all right. Okay, <laughs> first test. <laughs> I will not call you that. Well, it's my name. It's not a test. Failed. <laughs> How come Chris Rock can do a routine and everybody finds it hilarious, yeah. groundbreaking, and then I go and do the exact same routine, same comedic timing, and people file a complaint to corporate. Same comedic timing, huh? There are two types of black people. And black people are actually more racist because they hate the other type of black people. Ah! Every time the one type wants to have a good time, then the other type comes in and makes a real mess. With <laughs> we all know what they're talking about. Every time black people want to have a good time, some ignorant ass Oh, no. I take care of my kids. Wait, wait, wait. Is always want that's credit stuff. for something they supposed it. to do. <laughs> he keeps going. Same comedic timing too, huh? We all know, bro. Let's be real. We all know what they're saying, and let's be real. It's been said before. A hero is part human and part supernatural. A hero is born out of a childhood trauma or out of a disaster um. that must be avenged mm. okay um you're thinking of a superhero 
Yeah. We all have a hero in our heart. Hmm? Bro, the way Jim was staring at him. It says here that I learned something, mm -hmm. and I knew all this stuff already, so... I could, you know, I could sign something that says that I taught something, um, or that I helped you teach something, so... Pam? Where is she? Hmm? Pam, could we change something on this? But you're not listening to me. Yours is the only signature I need. Oh, okay. Those are my instructions from <laughs> the corporate offices to put you through this seminar for the comments that you made. And the only reason why I made copies for everyone was so that you wouldn't be embarrassed. Damn. I mean, to be fair, their office is pretty diverse. But, like, bro, we know he makes some out-of-pocket jokes just off the first episode. Signed, Daffy Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> This is gonna make him come back. Get as much done as you can before lunch, because uh, afterward, I'm going to have you all in tears. Oh no, more jokes. <laughs> Bro, I wonder how much of this show was improv. There's some shit that's like happens that I'm like, there's no way there was a script for that, right? We're not all gonna sit in circle Indian style, are we? <laughs> get out. This is an environment of welcoming and you should just get the hell out of here. Damn. Dude said, I'm the only one who can make racist jokes. Hi, I'm Michael Scott. I'm in charge of Dunder Mifflin paper products here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Abraham Lincoln once said that if you're a racist, I will attack you with the North. And those are the principles that I carry with me in the workplace. Mm. Abraham Lincoln did quote that word for word, did say that. Um, let me ask you, is there a term besides Mexican that you prefer something less offensive? Mexican isn't offensive. Well, it has certain connotations. Like what? Like, I don't, well, I don't know. But what connotations, Michael? No, no, no. Must have no. Meant something. No. I want you to take the card and I want you to put it on your forehead. Is this gonna be a race guessing game? Take a card, take a card, any card. Um, and I want you to treat other people like the race that is on their forehead, okay? So everybody has a different race. Nobody knows what their race is. So ah. I have a dream that you will really let the sparks fly. Get her done. Why? Because Martin Luther King is a hero of mine. Uh, he did say, did, was he, did he mention him in the other episode? That's what am I supposed to be? It's gonna percolate. No, 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 well that, that was an inverted. We didn't actually plan that. Uh. Lots of cultures eat rice. It doesn't help me. Ah! Um, Shalom. I'd like to apply for a loan. Ah! That's nice, Dwight. Okay, do me. Something stereotypical so I can get it really quick. Okay, I like your food. Uh, Outback Steakhouse. I'm Australian, mate. Pam. No. Pam, come on. Based on stereotypes that are totally untrue, that I do not agree with, you would maybe not be a very good driver. Ah! Oh, man, am I a woman? Ah! To be fair, that was a a pretty good hint. You want to go to the beach? Sure. You want to get high? No. Hmm? I think you do, Mon. Stop. It. Okay. <laughs> no. It's right, good. It Bro, that was that's a good hint. These are decent hints. How are you? I have had the longest meeting. Oh, welcome to my convenience store. Would you like some googie googie? Oh, I have some very delicious googie googie. Only 99 cents plus tax. Try my googie googie. Try my googie googie. Try my googie googie. Try my. Yeah. Dude enjoyed that a bit too much and pushed it. Now she knows what it's like to be a minority. Ah. This was the worst team building exercise I've ever witnessed. We didn't close last time. I just need your. Uh... Oh, what what code were you given? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's actually another salesman here. Yeah, I can redo it if you want to do that. Oh, we give you a discount? No, I don't blame you. Why? He said that was twenty five percent of his yearly earnings that sale, right? Pad Thai, love pad Thai. It's collard greens. What? It's collard greens. He said collard greens. Well, that doesn't really make sense because you don't call them collard people. That's offensive. What? This is one of those episodes I would not have made it today. We can go. That's fine. 
Uh, literally her work husband. Ain't that some not shit? Not a bad day. Dude literally lost essentially 25% of his yearly earnings, but she put his head on him, so he said not a bad day. Dude is down bad. What in the world, man? Season 1, episode 2 of The Office in the Books, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like this is one of those episodes that would not fly today. Like, I'm curious if this shit's on streaming services. Because in Community, the very first... They did two Dungeons & Dragons episodes, right? They did the first one. I think it was in season 2 or season 3. And they took that off streaming services because Chang did, like, blackface. Which I didn't even think was the reason, right? But going into it, people told me that it was taken off streaming services. But they didn't tell me why till after. I thought it was because, you know, the suicide jokes they were kind of talking about. You know, they were making fat jokes and stuff. But it was because blackface. Which I thought was stupid. And in this, they pushed the envelope so much further. Like, holy shit, dude. Some of the stuff they did. Like, I don't ever find stuff like this offensive because contact co context is everything right and obviously they're making jokes out of it and stuff i think the shit's funny even the shit with the black people thing let's be real we know what they're saying when they say there's two types you know but some of this shit has to be improv man because there's some shit that happens and i'm like dude there's like how do you write that in a script like one or two word moment like how do you write some of that stuff in the script like some of this stuff has to be improv right where they just let him do his thing or maybe he just randomly adds something in and they're like hey let's roll with it let's keep it you know something like their hat like i i i would be so surprised if every single thing was just directly already in the script and none of it was improv man but nonetheless hilarious episode crazy fucking episode especially for the second episode dude they because this is season one so they only got six episodes right this is back when it first started airing, you know, shows they get like six episodes, a few episodes to see if the show catches fire or not. And they really just said, fuck it, we're going all the way with episode two, man. Fantastic stuff. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.